How's it going everyone? Want to give you guys a big update on PlayStation Plus. As a lot of my commenters uh, posted on a recent video that I uploaded and uh, talking about the PlayStation Plus subscription, the offer that's available for Black Friday and extending your subscription, it looks like you can extend your subscription. You just have to go through a couple of hoops. We'll talk about that. And while we're at the topic of Plus, it looks like a major title might be hitting PlayStation Plus in the future. We'll talk about that. And two titles have gotten PlayStation Plus premium trials. One of them a little bit comical, but uh, we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, a lot of you guys had uh, let us know that the PlayStation Plus extension was not available uh, for the Black Friday offer. So what it looked like was that for the Black Friday offer, you either had to be a PlayStation Plus extra subscriber and had to upgrade to PlayStation Plus premium to get the offer or... Uh, uh, you had to just sign up for Plus Essential for the first time ever. Signing up for Pl uh, Plus Essential, not for the first time ex ever, excuse me, signing up for Plus Essential while you're not a subscriber. That is somewhat effective if your Plus Essential subscription ran out, but most of you guys were looking to actually extend your subscription, and it looks like you weren't able to do that, but we uploaded a video recently talking about that, and a lot of people let us know in the comment section that it is possible. So this is a comment from Mark351. I was able to renew my PlayStation Plus Premium membership at the 30% discount. I think the trick was that I previously turned off auto renew in my account settings. The renewal was cheaper than I was originally expecting before the sale was announced, but I admit that I was still waffling. So that was one comment. And then we had received another comment from someone that illustrated the exact steps that you had to use. By the way, very important news. Even current members can get the Black Friday discount to stack up another year of the subscription. All you got to do is go to account setting and then subscription. Click on cancel subscription. Tell them the reason and do it. You still get the benefits of course until your subscription does lapse go back home in there again and click the buy option and you'll see the discount on the 12 month one buy and then once you go and you'll sub till 2024 the same date that your subscription will end um so yeah it does seem like you can actually extend your subscription you just have to go into your account setting and disable auto renew or just straight up cancel your subscription if you cancel your subscription of course you have the benefits until the end of the date so let's say you signed up in december of last year you'll have it until december December of this year, but if you want to sign up again for another 12 months, it looks like that option is on the table with the discount as well. Moving on from that, speaking with Windows Central, Ascendant Studio CEO Brett Robbins, Ascendant Studio, the development studio behind Immortals of Aveum, is pretty sure that the game will be brought to both subscription services as an Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Plus. Certainly, those services give you a wider funnel. More people might engage with the game, and that's always good. We are talking to Sony and Microsoft about getting the game onto both of these services, we don't have a date yet. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen though. So that is a pretty, I would say pretty exciting news because the Morals of Aveum to me is the perfect kind of a game to end up on a subscription service. Hell, I think if the game was like a day one Xbox Game Pass title, if they could have made a deal like that work uh, with EA for Microsoft, because Microsoft is the type of publisher that's gonna go for a day one uh, title for, you know, a game at that level. I don't think Sony is really open to something like that, but I think if Microsoft did that, uh, that would have opened up the game to a lot more people, and a lot more people would have been like, hey, this game's actually pretty good. And I had talked about Immortals of Aveum ad nauseum. I believe the game's on sale right now for $35. I still think that's a little bit too expensive. I think had the game come out, and I talk about it over and over again, but they eliminated all the cutscenes, they eliminated the storytelling, and just focused on the platforming, the gameplay, the puzzles, because I think all of those elements they did a very, very good job with. It's just this awful story, awful voice acting, awful characters that really do uh, hinder the experience. I think the gameplay is incredibly strong. It's incredibly vibrant. I know there were some performance issues and whatnot, and obviously if those were remedied, uh, that would be quite nice. But visually, the game does look quite good. Robbins also spoke about the packed year of 2023 and how it might have impacted Immortals of Vam. I've never seen a year like this. It's always hard to break through the noise when you're a new IP or a studio people haven't heard of. Trying to create awareness for us was really, really difficult. It's always hard for a new IP, and this year made it 10 times harder. I don't 
don't think it made it 10 times harder. I just think a more I don't think a Morals of Avaeum would have popped off in any year. Like, I'm gonna be honest, maybe it would have done a little bit better had it hit its original July targeted release date or it came out in 2022 or 2021. But if it was a $70 game and it was exactly what it was, I think people would have had a mixed reception to it and it wouldn't have done all too well. I get it that it seems like the fun thing to do right now is be like, oh, 2023 was stacked for games, etc., etc. And it was stacked for games. It was great uh, for gamers in terms of a lot of games. But I've always noted, noticed that if a game is at a quality level and a price point that both of those things uh, mesh together, it's gonna do fairly well. I don't think Immortals of Avaeum would have done well in any year. And this is coming from somebody that actually did like a lot of the aspects of the game, but um, it just had its fair share of issues that was gonna push people away. Look, uh, being released in 2022 would not have made the storytelling, the voice acting of Immortals of Avaeum any better, nor would it have made the $70 price tag any more easier to di digest. In any case, uh, if that $70 price tag happened in 2022, it would have been a little bit bigger of a hindrance given the fact that I feel like this year was really where the $70 price tag was normalized, but uh, you know, that's rather here nor there. Even if it was $60 at it released last year, I don't think it would have done all that great but that's my two cents i think there's stuff to like about this game but it's one of those games that you know the aspects that i have been talking about ad nauseum uh did really hold it back lastly i do want to know playstation plus premium gets a two hour baldur's gate 3 trial that's great gives you a little bit of time to check out baldur's gate 3 you know you ultimately do need to spend like 100 hours in the game so uh you know buckle up to get as much content as you can get uh done within two hours and then you also have a one hour lord of the rings golem trial so uh yeah you guys can be the judge of that two hour baldur's gate 3 trial is nice um i think you know for the trial for baldur's gate 3 i actually think that's really effective uh in the sense of utilizing that because i think in a two-hour window you can kind of gauge at the very least if baldur's gate 3's play style is going to be for you i know a lot of people look at the metacritic scores of baldur's gate 3 and general consensus for the game is that it's tremendous and i'm sure like my opinion is that i personally couldn't uh, you know click with baldur's gate 3 however i do think a lot of people are out there that are gonna be like me where this style of game isn't gonna be for them um, especially when you're talking about on a console market. Like, the console market, uh, Baldur's Gate, certainly, if you're a console-only player, you can enjoy a game like that, but I feel like the console-only uh, market is also, uh, th there's a lot of people that Baldur's Gate 3, uh, that's a game that's not gonna click with them. So try it out for two hours. That's not gonna give you a huge idea of the vast scale of the game, so don't get it twisted on that end. Like, you could play it for two hours, it might not click with you within that two hours, and then ultimately you buy the game, you end up enjoying it even regardless. But, uh, Nonetheless, uh, a two-hour trial for that available and a one-hour trial for Gollum available as well. But that is going to do it for me. Again, as far as extending your PlayStation Plus subscription goes with the value offer that is available for Black Friday, it looks like it is possible. You just have to cancel your current subscription and then uh, that offer should be enabled and you should be able to extend your subscription that way. Morals of a Van potentially headed to PlayStation Plus uh extra as well as xbox game pass it's gonna hit xbox game pass regardless because ea play is baked into game pass and i think you know once immortals of a van gets into ea play i'll be noting that as well because you know for 99 cents why not if you have the offer available or for five dollars for a month that's a really good value uh playthrough for immortals of van and ps plus premium gets a two hour Baldur's gate three trial and a one hour lord of the rings golem trial check those out as well that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.